Dad. Dad. To Dad. To Dad. Indeed. You know, I said a place for him earlier, and then I took it away. That's silly, isn't it? Seems quite normal to me. To Dad. To Dad. To Dad. Jim. I wish it was here to see this baby. Oh, no. All our babies. Charlie, we're thinking of naming ours Fiona if it's a boy and Fiona if it's a girl, but I don't want to step on your toes, though, if either of these are things you're thinking of. No, you're good. Go ahead. Um, uh, can we talk about the farm? Did you fix the pump? He didn't. I saw it. And you just walked by, did you? Look, I need your help. Both of you. Can we all just pull together, you know? No iron team. Takes a village and all that. Hugh's right. No, he is right about there not being an iron team. But other than that, the farm's his and I'm happy at the bar and the glamping, which is full tonight. And I'm happy taking care of Hayley. Oh, that's sweet. Matt, take notes from your brother for when it's your time. <laughs> hey, Charlie, I saw the cutest shoes online today. Hugh wants to talk about the farm, so let's focus up, people. Yeah, uh, Ajax, seriously, I, I said just... everything I had to say, so I moved on. Come on, I apologise for what I said, whatever that was. You don't even know? Because I didn't say anything. Oh, you're unbelievable. So selfish, just like Dad always says. <laughs> I've just sunk a million dollars into this farm and put my job on hold and spoken to a man about a gauge gasket intermittent flow pump for half an hour. That's not selfish. Ajax, you have to start helping. There are no freeloaders here. But I don't want to work on the farm without Dad. All right, every time I go out there, it's too sad. He's so the sweetest, it breaks my heart. Poor kid. Maybe it was too soon for dinner. I might go and sit in the ute for a bit. Matt. No. Nah. 